The flames of disaster! Today I'll be showcasing my C6 Crown Gomings build, team, and damage. Let's get started. Alright, so let's go ahead and overview Gomings build. He is going to be running my R2 Redhorn Stone Thresher that I usually use on Fremine, but I do let Gomming bore from time to time whenever I want to use him. It gives him a nice juicy 88.2% cur rate, but the passive doesn't really do much for him. It's mostly just a stat stick. He's also going to be running 4-piece Mars Sussy Hunter, and let me go over these artifacts with you guys really, really fast, because I am super duper proud of my gomming pieces here i have this i have this flower it's probably the the worst one of the set honestly it has a little bit of crit damage a little bit of attack nothing nothing that great but then when we start going along we have this we have this feather pretty good a lot of crit, a lot of crit damage and a little bit of attack in there we also have a very very nice em sans and i know some of you guys are probably like why are you running an em sans on gomming it's because you want to vaporize every single one of his plunge attacks because that is how you get the most damage out of him it's not actually attack attack is probably more of a secondary subset it's still really good and you still really want it on your artifacts but at least for a sand you want to focus it on em so that way he can really do some big vaporize damage but yeah this piece is really really good has a lot of crit damage a lot of crate and a little bit of er even in there as well honestly this is probably like a perfect sand and speaking of perfect pieces i also have this pyro damage bonus goblet on set by the way guys you almost never see on sets for elemental damage bonus goblets and i was screaming when i rolled this one because this is so so good guys i know it may not even be the best goblet in the world but the fact that it's on set and it has decent crit stats is just amazing and then for my circlet i have a crit damage one with crit rate and er and em on it, it has all the good stuff guys all the good stuff so overall, I think I have some very, very solid gomming artifacts. I farmed for a long time for these pieces, and I honestly am very, very happy with them. He is, of course, going to be C6 for this showcase. So we're going to get to see all of his kit today, including his C6, which is just, mwah, it's so good, guys. The C6 is amazing. You can't beat this. 20% extra crit and extra 40% crit damage. It's so good, guys. It's really, really good. And then finally, we have his talents. His talents are going to be 6 13 and 10. I leveled up the normal attack a little bit because sometimes I do like to weave in normal plunge attacks. But here's the real thing, guys. I did put a crown on his skill because his skill, guys, it's so powerful. So, guys, that is my Gomming build. And on top of that, his crit ratio is going to be 48.2%. Over 268.8% crit damage. Now, we do overcap on curry by like 4%, but honestly, that's not that big of a deal for me. Um, and then his, of course, base stats are 1,830 attack and 205 EM. So overall, I think I have one of the most solid gomming builds ever. I don't even see that many people build gomming. I think he is probably one of the most critically underused characters in this game, guys. Honestly, I feel that way because he's so good. And I, I used him even before I had C6, so that's just not the C6 talking, guys. I promise, I promise. Anyway, I'm sure what all you guys are here for is to see what damage he can do. So now, let's just go ahead and fight some bosses. Hold up there, Taipan. Before you fight those bosses, I just want to tell you about the team I'll be using, because you know what? Sometimes I forget to go through it. But I will be running Freena, Shanyun, and Bennett. Freena's just good at buffing him up and providing Hydro application so we can vaporize. And honestly, her Hydro application works perfectly in tandem with how much Pyro Gomming applies. So it's a really good combination. And then Shanyun, of course, will be our healer and providing us extra plunge damage and all those fanfare stacks. This is probably one of Shanyun's best teams. She just does so, so much. And then, of course, Bennett here is just for that flat attack buff. You all know why Bennett's here, guys. Bennett is literally just the Pyro Archon. Anyway, sorry for interrupting. Let's go fight those bosses now. All right, so the first boss I'm going to take down is the Primal Geofish half. Everyone's favorite punching bag. All right, let me show you this rotation. So we're going to start up with Farina skill and then burst with her. Then we're going to move to Shanyun, do her skill once and then burst with her as well. Then we're going to throw down Bennett really, really fast and then burst with Gomming and then use his skill. And that was 200. And oh my God, how, ma how much damage was that? Uh, 223 K off of one E, guys. And you can do so many E's in a rotation. I mean, look at how fast he died. It's crazy. This guy is actually just a beast. He's crazy. He's so, so good. Like, look at how fast we killed that. We hit 223, 33,000 K. I'll put the number on screen right now. But honestly, it's so impressive, guys. Look at this guy. Look at this cute little guy. Who would have thought that he is able to hit so much damage? It's crazy, guys. It's crazy. Anyway, guys, let's go ahead and move on to one more boss. And after that, we will throw him against a boss to see how high we can boost his damage. All right, let's go do that. 
All right, the next boss we're gonna fight here is the Aeon Blade Drake. We can take this guy down so fast, guys. I bet you guys know that that can happen. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm getting so excited. I love I love killing things with Gami, guys. I just love doing it. It's so much fun. All right, let's go and put down Bennett. Then we're gonna burst with Gami. Okay, let's see what we can hit. What was that? Oh my god, I can't even see how much that was. That was a lot. 233k, guys. What? It's a four-star character. It's a four-star character, and he does that much damage. It's crazy. It's literally so crazy, guys. I can't believe it. I honestly can't believe it. Anyway, let's go ahead and see if we can boost his damage up as much as possible. I'm going to go ahead and fight the Raiden Shogun. And I'm going to go ahead and stuff Gaming's face full of food. And we're going to see what he can hit. I'm really, really excited to show you guys this. All right, let's go ahead and do it. Bye-bye. As Gaming stares down the Raiden Shogun, she knows she cannot beat the pyro oh she's attacking me okay okay you know what i was gonna record a cool intro but i guess we're not doing that anyway i'll just cut to the end when she is knocked down and defeated so that way we can see how much damage you can do with her okay let's go do that before gami gets absolutely obliterated okay bye all right raiden shogun is about to be knocked down here guys all right let's go ahead and start this rotation as you guys already know how it works okay shan yun time burst with her then here comes bennett all right now it's time to burst all right and then scale how much are we seeing 310k i didn't even need food 327k from one e guys from one e oh my gosh you know what this whole video is just me gushing over gaming and you know what i think it's well warranted because he's so he's so good i love playing gami so much fun to play you guys should build Gami. If you have a copy of Gami, even one copy of Gami is decent. Honestly, if, here's my recommendation. You should build Gami if you get up to his, um, if you get up to his C, C2. I'd say C2 is a good place to start building him, honestly, guys. That is my recommendation for you all. Hope you all enjoyed this Gami showcase. Anyway, I'll let myself take it out with the outro. Go, go ahead, me. Go ahead.